Yeah, it's a Tony D'Angelo video. Okay, so before the video gets started, I just want you guys to know that there will not be a reaction video to the Calgary game, as well as possibly the Minnesota game, but we'll be back on track next week. As the season has gone on, uh, especially in the beginning of the season, I have bashed Tony D'Angelo. This fuck guy is trash and should be off the team. I want Tony D'Angelo gone. I want him gone. Wow. But the kid has literally proved me wrong and probably a lot of other people wrong. So right now he's at an even 50 games played. He's a plus 3 and has 26 points. Those 22 assists might come as a shock to you because the guy, all he would do is turn the puck over in the beginning of the season. Not only that, but he really looked lost in the defensive zone, and once he started cleaning that up, it helped out his offensive game. He had a three-game stretch in November where he had consecutive games with assists, and he still didn't really look that good, especially in his own zone. So many turnovers, misassignments, not covering the front of the net, it all bit him in the ass. From the end of November to the end of December, it was probably the lowest point of Tony D'Angelo's tenure as a Ranger. On November 29th in Ottawa, I believe the Rangers lost 3-0, and Tony D'Angelo was a minus 3 that game. So, that tells you that he was on the ice for every Ottawa goal. Moving on to December 10th in Tampa Bay, he was a minus 2. And now, yes, there's Tampa Bay Lightning, a minus 2, he should probably be happy with that. However, the next two games, which were against Arizona and then Vegas, he was a minus one against Arizona and then a minus two against Vegas. So in three straight games, Tony D'Angelo was a minus six. And then 2019 hit. Maybe reality set in with him. On January 12th, the Rangers versus the Islanders. He had an assist and he was a plus two in that game. The game after that against Columbus, a plus one. And the game against Carolina after that one, he had two assists and was a plus two. I personally think plus minus are a huge stat in hockey, so that's why I'm really going in depth in his plus minus because it really shows how responsible you are in your own defensive end as well as the maybe the plays you're making offensively with the plus numbers. And now around the end of January, this is where he really started picking up his game. So after the Carolina plus two game, they versus Chicago, and once again another plus two game. So the beginning of February hits, they play the Kings and the Bruins, and he had an assist in each of those games. I could already tell by just the end of January games that he was skating better. He was skating with more confidence, moving the puck with more confidence, which he had a huge problem with in the beginning of the season. Three straight minus games in the beginning of February, and then they versed the Buffalo Sabres. And to me, this is probably the game that completely turned his season around. He had one assist and was a plus four. He was making plays, he was making sure that he was responsible for his own defensive end, and in the offensive zone, the guy was just making plays, skating with confidence, and that is what you need to be a staple in an NHL lineup. Confidence and consistency. February 12th in Winnipeg started his long assist streak. He had assists in eight straight games, and for a guy who was looking lost and not confident at all in the beginning of the season, to have eight straight games with an assist... That's pretty freaking good. And my personal opinion about Tony D'Angelo, the kid, it looked like he was lacking a lot of immaturity and confidence. And honestly, it still might be there, the immature part. But the confidence on the ice, I mean, that's looking really good right now. I'll never forget on Twitter there were people telling me, oh my god, D'Angelo's the future, D'Angelo's the future. Like him and Miller, Keandre Miller, him and Keandre Miller. And I was telling myself, I expected that, yeah. But right now, it doesn't look like he's going to be a top future two pair for us. Or even a four guy. Another thing to add, him on the power play in the beginning of the year, it didn't look that bad. But sometimes when he just held the puck at the blue line, I felt like he held it for too long. He was making the wrong plays. He was getting, he was turning the puck over right on the blue line, and then they just dumped it or turned it around. But him on the power play, over even since January, he has looked like a completely different player when he has the puck. He would make a confident spin move, and he'll make up a great pass, and he, sometimes he'll just get it to the front of the net, and it'll work. And to me, I think that's kind of what you need as a quarterback on the power play. <coughs> Kevin Shattenkirk, you gotta be kidding me! Jeez, what is going on with Shattenkirk? Dramatically over the last few months, Tony D'Angelo has revitalized his Rangers career. Yeah, that might be a little dramatic, but I really think that he was struggling awfully. I'm going to give the credit to David Quinn, Lindy Ruff, and Greg Brown, plain and simple. They have probably been pushing D'Angelo, hey, you got to be more mature. Hey, you got to be more confident in your game. And sometimes that doesn't always work. What game was he scratched in? Scratched in Edmonton, right? Yeah. 
So he was scratching Edmonton the other night, and I really don't know why um, from an on-ice standpoint, but I was hearing that it was from an off-ice standpoint, and I mean, sometimes it happens. So once I think he fully cleans up his immaturity, which I personally think he's been doing a very good job with, but I mean, that's just only on the ice, I think he's going to be a really solid defenseman for us. So from now on, as long as he keeps his consistent play, I won't be bashing D'Angelo out. Guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the D'Angelo uh, turnaround of the beginning of the season till now, and just the whole Rangers defense core in general right now. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want more, and I'll see you guys later.